Hey guys, the objective for this video is to determine the plastic moment in a T section. So we've got our T section here. Um, what you might notice is that the flange and the web are of equal area. So the total area of our flange is 4,000 millimeters squared, and the total area of a web is also 4,000 millimeters squared. We've been given a yield stress of 250 MPa and we need to determine the plastic moment. So since um, we're determining the plastic moment, we're assuming that the stress at every location in our um, cross section is equal to 250 MPa. So we don't have a linear distribution like we did in the first yield moment example. Um, we only have um, 250 MPa, which is constant. The position of the neutral axis isn't the centroid in this case. The position is such that there is an equal area on the top and the bottom. And the reason for that is because the total compressive force and the total tensile force caused by this moment need to be equal for us to have equilibrium. So if we draw on our distribution, because, as I said before, we have that equal area at the top and at the bottom, the neutral axis is going to simply lie at this location.